Jürgen Klinsmann, German pronunciation, J. N. K. L. I. N. S. Mann, born the 30th of July 1964, is a German football manager and former player who was most recently the head coach of the United States men's national soccer team. As a player, Klinsmann played for several prominent clubs in Europe and was part of the West German team that won the 1990 FIFA World Cup and the unified German team that won the 1996 UEFA European Championship. One of Germany's premier strikers during the 1990s, he scored in all six major international tournaments he participated in, from Euro 1988 to 1998 World Cup. In 1995 he came in third in the FIFA World Player of the Year award. In 2004 he was named in the FIFA 100 list of the 125 greatest living footballers. Klinsmann managed the German national team to a third-place finish in the 2006 World Cup. On 12 July 2006, he officially announced that he would step down as Germany's coach after two years in charge and be replaced by assistant coach Joachim Lowe. He took over as coach of Bundesliga club Bayern Munich in July 2008 when Otmar Hitzfeld stepped down. On 27 April 2009, he was released early, even though he had won five of the previous seven league games and was only three points behind league leader VfL Wolfsburg. In the jointly initiated reforms at Bayern, it emerged there was a severe clash of opinions between coach and club management. On the 29th of July 2011, the U.S. Soccer Federation named Klinsmann the coach of the United States men's national team. In 2013 he won the CONCACAF Gold Cup with the United States and was named CONCACAF Coach of the Year 2013. He led the United States team to the last 16 of the World Cup in Brazil in 2014. On 3 November 2016, he became the fourth male and sixth person to become the German national football team squad's honorary captain. On 21 November 2016, Klinsmann was fired as head coach of the United States men's national soccer team after losses to Mexico and Costa Rica in World Cup qualification. Club career 1972-1981, youth career Klinsmann is one of four sons of master baker Siegfried Klinsmann, died 2005, and his wife Martha. At age 8, he started playing for TB Gingen, an amateur football club in Gingen and Der Fils. Six months later he scored 16 goals in a single game for his new club. 1981-1989, Stuttgarter kickers and VfB Stuttgart. Klinsmann, center playing for VfB Stuttgart against SG Dynamo Dresden in the semi-final of the 1988-89 UEFA Cup. Klinsmann started his professional career in 1982 at the then second division side Stuttgarter Kickers, where he had been playing since 1978 as a youth player. In 1984 Klinsmann moved to first division rivals VfB Stuttgart. In his first season at the club, he scored 15 goals and was the team's joint top scorer with Karl Allgauer. Despite his goal-scoring efforts, he couldn't prevent his new club from finishing 10th in the league. During each of the 1985, 86 and 1986, 87 seasons, he scored 16 goals and reached the 1986 final of the DFB Pokal, losing against Bayern Munich 2-5 but scoring the last goal of the game. In the 1987-88 season, he scored 19 goals, including a legendary overhead kick against Bayern Munich, and was the Bundesliga's top goal scorer. In 1988 the 24-year-old Klinsmann was named German Footballer of the Year, after reaching the 1988-89 UEFA Cup Final with Stuttgart which eventually lost to Diego Maradona's inspired Napoli 1, 2 and 3, 3, 
Klinsmann moved to Italian club Inter Milan and joined the ranks of two other German internationals, Lothar Matthäus and Andreas Brema. 1989-1992, Inter Milan Klinsmann signed a three-year contract with Inter. In spite of the heavily defensive-oriented tactics of head coach Giovanni Trapattoni, Klinsmann scored 13 goals as the Nerazzurri finished third in Serie A. He became one of the most popular foreign players in Italy, mostly because he had learned Italian and earned himself the respect of the fans with his appearance and language skills. During the next season, Klinsmann won the UEFA Cup with Inter and repeated his previous performance in the league with 14 goals. Klinsmann's contract was extended until 1994. A disastrous 1991-92 season made all plans fall through. Inter never managed to gain any momentum under coach Corrado Origo and finished 8th in the league, with Klinsmann only scoring 7 goals and the team being divided and fragmented in two groups. It was clear for Klinsmann that this would be his last season at the San Siero. 1992-1994, as Monaco. After UEFA Euro 1992, Klinsmann moved to as Monaco and catapulted the club to a second-place finish in the league in his first season. After the bribery scandal by Olympique Marseille and their subsequent disqualification as league winners, as Monaco was to replace them in the Champions League the following year, Monaco reached the semi-final before finally losing to eventual winners Milan. The following season, Monaco only managed a ninth-place finish in the league. Klinsmann, who had missed two months due to a torn ligament, was mostly deployed as a lone striker and started criticizing the attitude of his teammates. In 1994 he left the club early, with one more year remaining on his contract. 1994-1995, Tottenham Hotspur Somewhat surprisingly, Klinsmann moved to Tottenham Hotspur in the Premier League for the 1994-95 season, where the fans and media were very critical of the German, partly because he played in the 1990 West Germany team that knocked England out of the World Cup, and partly because of his reputation as a diver because of his humor, but also because of his athletic achievements and his combative playing style. Klinsmann quickly became extremely popular in England. Over 150 000 of his shirts were sold. Klinsmann scored 21 goals in the 1994-95 season for Spurs and a total of 30 in all competitions, including a late winner against Liverpool in the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. He also found the net in the semi-final, but Spurs missed out on a place in the final by losing the game 4-1 to Everton. 1995-2003, Final Years Klinsmann then had a successful spell at Bayern Munich during the 1995-96 and 1996-97 season. During both seasons he was the top goal scorer of his club won the 1995-96 UEFA Cup, and set a new goal-scoring record of 15 goals in 12 games during the competition, a record that stood until 2011. After retiring and moving to the United States, in 2003 Klinsmann played for fun for Orange County Blue Star, an amateur team in the fourth-tier Premier Development League. International Career Klinsmann had a good international career, seeing his first West Germany duty in 1987 and ultimately collecting 108 caps, making him the country's fourth most capped player behind Lothar Matthäus, Miroslav Klose, and Lukas Podolski. Klinsmann scored 47 goals for West Germany, Germany in top-level international matches, sharing the all-time fourth place with Rudi Waller and only surpassed by Miroslav Klose's record of 71 goals for the national team Gerd Muller 68 goals, and Podolski's 48. He scored 11 goals in the FIFA World Cup, 
ranking sixth all-time. In 1987, he made his debut for Germany against Brazil in a 1-1 draw. He participated in the 1988 Summer Olympics, winning a bronze medal. The 1988, 1992 and 1996 European Championships reaching the final in 1992 and becoming champion in 1996. Klinsmann was the first player ever to score in three different UEFA European Championships. Four other players, question mark, Vladimir Smyser, Thierry Henry, Nuno Gomez, and Cristiano Ronaldo, question mark, have equaled this record since. He was an important part of the West German team during the 1990 FIFA World Cup. After qualifying for the round of 16, Germany was to play the Netherlands, against which they lost two years earlier in Euro 88. It was to be Klinsmann's best international game. After Rudi Voller was sent off in the 22nd minute, Klinsmann was forced to play as a lone striker. He delivered a running and pressure performance with which he occupied the entire Dutch defence, scored the 1-0 opener and was a constant threat. Klinsmann also competed for the unified Germany team at the 1994, 5 goals, and 1998, 3 goals, World Cups. He became the first player to score at least 3 goals in 3 consecutive World Cups later joined by Ronaldo of Brazil and compatriot Miroslav Klose. He is currently the sixth-highest goalscorer at World Cups overall and the third-highest goalscorer for Germany in this competition behind Klose and Gerd Müller. Coaching career Germany On 26 July 2004, he returned to Germany as the new head coach of the national team succeeding former teammate and strike partner Rudy Voller. Klinsmann subsequently embarked on an aggressive program to revamp the management of the team. Bringing fellow German striker Oliver Bierhoff on board helped defuse public relations duties of the previous combined post away from the actual coaching aspect of the position. Furthermore, he created a youth movement to breathe life into an aging squad on the heels of a disastrous showing at Euro 2004. In the run-up to the 2006 World Cup, Klinsmann attracted criticism from German fans and the media following poor results, such as the 4-1 loss to Italy. A particular subject of criticism was that Klinsmann commuted to Germany from the United States, which was the target of a campaign by the Bild tabloid. It should be noted that Klinsmann had previously eliminated some privileges Bild traditionally had with the national team, such as receiving the team lineup the day before a match, and 24-7's exclusive access to the team. His largely offensive tactics have irritated some, who complain that he ignores defensive football. He announced a squad of young players for the 2006 World Cup, basing his selection policy on performance, not reputation. During the 2005 Confederations Cup, he regularly rotated his goalkeepers regardless of their performances, which drew the ire of Bayern Munich's Oliver Kahn. On 7 April 2006, Klinsmann finally decided to relegate Kahn to the bench and designated Arsenal's Jens Lehmann as his first-choice goalkeeper. This choice followed Lehmann's performances in the 2006 Champions League in which his Arsenal team bowed out in the final against Barcelona. In the 2006 World Cup, the performances of Klinsmann's team silenced his critics, which included the form of an English song, Who Do You Think You Are Kidding Jurgen Klinsmann? The team recorded three straight wins against Costa Rica, Poland and Ecuador in the first round earning Germany first place in Group A. The first game of the knockout stage was a 2-0 victory over Sweden, and in the quarter-finals, Klinsmann's team defeated Argentina, winning 4-2 on penalties. The teams drew 1-1 after 120 minutes after an equalizing goal from Miroslav Klose in the 80th minute. In the semi-final on 4 July, Germany lost a close match with Italy too.
0 after goals in the final minutes of extra time from Fabio Grosso and Alessandro Del Piero. The victory triggered a massive Berlin parade the following day where Klinsmann and the team were honored by the public. Afterward, Franz Beckenbauer, previously a strident critic of Klinsmann's, declared his desire to see Klinsmann continue as coach. There was also widespread public support for Klinsmann due to his team's spirit and attacking style of play. The team's strong performance is thought by some to have renewed national pride and restored Germany's reputation as a top footballing nation. Due to his success coaching the national team, Klinsmann was awarded the Bundesverdienst Cruise. Despite the highly acclaimed performance at the World Cup and the praise earned, Klinsmann declined to renew his contract, informing the DFB of his decision on the 11th of July 2006. The decision was officially announced by the DFB on the 12th of July 2006. Klinsmann's assistant Joachim Lowe was appointed as the new head trainer at the same press conference. Bayern Munich in July 2008 Klinsmann took over as coach of Bayern Munich, succeeding Otmar Hitzfeld. Following Klinsmann's time with Bayern, team captain Philipp Lahm wrote in his autobiography that Klinsmann's time with the club was a failure, and that Klinsmann's lack of tactical instruction required the players to meet before kickoff to discuss strategy. Toronto FC in November 2010, Klinsmann was hired as a technical consultant for Major League Soccer Club Toronto FC to advise on an overhaul of the club's coaching and playing personnel, leading the club to hire Aaron Winter as head coach and Paul Mariner as technical director the following year. Both Winter and Mariner would later be fired by the club during a last-place finish in the 2012 season. United States on 29 July 2011, Klinsmann was named head coach of the United States men's national soccer team, making him the 35th coach in the history of the program. The U.S. struggled in friendly games early in Klinsmann's tenure losing four games and drawing one before ending the 2011 season with a victory over Slovenia. On 29 February 2012, the U.S national team began their turnaround by recording a historic 1-0 victory in a friendly match away against Italy. It was their first win against the four-time FIFA World Cup champion dating back to 1934. In 2013, Klinsmann coached the U.S. team in Estadio Azteca in the third World Cup qualifying game of the 2013 CONCACAF hexagonal where the United States earned their second point in history, with a scoreless draw against Mexico. Despite losing the opening match of the Hex 2-1 to Honduras, on 2 June 2013, the United States played their centennial celebratory game against Klinsmann's homeland of Germany, where Klinsmann coached them to a 4-3 win. On 28 July, Klinsmann coached the U.S team to their fifth CONCACAF Gold Cup, defeating Panama 1-0 in the final 2014 World Cup. Klinsmann received criticism in May 2014 when he left Landon Donovan off the final roster for the 2014 World Cup following the team's preliminary training camp. On 16 June, Klinsmann guided the United States to a 2 one win over Ghana in their first match of the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. Behind an early strike from captain Clinton MC and a dramatic 86th-minute header from substitute John Brooks. On the 22nd of June, his side drew 2-2 against Portugal in the second group match. A defensive miscue early in the game led to an easy Portugal goal. But Jermaine Jones equalized with a strike from 30 yards out in the second half. Then, in the 81st minute Dempsey scored to give the USA a 2-1 lead. The score remained 2-1 until the final seconds of stoppage time where Cristiano Ronaldo sent a cross in that was headed past U.S. 
goalkeeper Tim Howard by Seal Vastre Varela. Klinsman and the USA drew Belgium in the round of 16. After spending much of the game absorbing Belgium's potent attack, with goalkeeper Tim Howard setting a World Cup Finals record for saves in a match, the U.S. survived with a 0-0 score after 90 minutes, sending the game to extra time. After quickly falling behind 2-0 to Belgium in extra time, the U.S. cut the deficit in half in the 107th minute when substitute Julian Green volleyed in a lobbed through ball from Michael Bradley but were unable to score a second and were eliminated. 2018 World Cup Qualification The U.S. notched a 1-0 win over Czech Republic to open the new 2018 World Cup cycle on 3 September, their first ever win over the Czechs. The United States men's national team entered the final stage of the 2018 World Cup qualifying cycle known as the hexagonal, in November 2016 having compiled an outstanding record for the year up to that point of 12 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. Klinsman had continued to evolve the team by bringing in emerging young players such as Christian Pulisic, a teenager who had earned his way into Borussia Dortmund's starting lineup, Jordan Morris, 2016 MLS Rookie of the Year, and GLC Zards, forward for the Los Angeles Galaxy. The luck of the qualifying draw saw the United States men's national team face the two highest ranking CONCACAF teams, Mexico and Costa Rica, to begin the hexagonal. Despite losing these two matches, the United States men's national team still had eight matches and a potential 24 points available to qualify for the 2018 World Cup. Historically, only 15 points have been needed to qualify and Mexico qualified for the 2014 World Cup having earned only 11 points in the hexagonal. Nevertheless, U.S. Soccer Federation officials removed Klinsman as the U.S. men's national team manager on 21 November 2016, replacing him with Bruce Arena, who had been previously dismissed as U.S. S. Men's national team coach after his team failed to move beyond the group stage of the 2006 World Cup. Overview Club National teams Personal life Klinsman was born in Göppingen. Career statistics Club career statistics International statistics National Team Statistics International Goals Managerial Honors Player Club International Individual Manager International Individual Literature Dietrich Schultz Marmeling Stratagen des Spiels Question mark. Thy legendary and fussball trainer. Verlag die Werkstatt. Göttingen 2005. ISBN 3 895 S. 332 FF. Jens Mend. Jürgen Klinsmann? Question mark. BWIR Weltmeister Worden. Sudwest Verlag. München 2006. ISBN 3 517 082082. Michael Harini. Klinsmann. Sturmer Trainer Weltmeister. Schurz. Frankfurt, Maine 2005. ISBN 3 502 150 451.
Jürgen Klinsmann, German pronunciation, J. N. K. L. I. N. S. Mann, born the 30th of July 1964, is a German football manager and former player who was most recently the head coach of the United States men's national soccer team. As a player, Klinsmann played for several prominent clubs in Europe and was part of the West German team that won the 1990 FIFA World Cup and the unified German team that won the 1996 UEFA European Championship. One of Germany's premier strikers during the 1990s, he scored in all six major international tournaments he participated in, from Euro 1988 to 1998 World Cup. In 1995 he came in third in the Mexico and Costa Rica in World Cup qualification. Club career 1972-1981, youth career Klinsmann is one of four sons of master baker Siegfried Klinsmann. Died 2005, and his wife Martha. At age 8, he started playing for TB Gingen, an amateur football club in Gingen and Der Fils. Six months later he scored 16 goals in a single game for his new club. 1981-1989, Stuttgarter kickers and VfB Stuttgart. Klinsmann, center, playing for VfB Stuttgart against SG Dynamo Dresden in the semi-final of the 1988-89 UEFA Cup. Klinsmann started his professional career in 1980 pitted reforms at Bayern. It emerged there was a severe clash of opinions between coach and club management. On 29 July 2011, the U.S. Soccer Federation named Klinsmann the coach of the United States men's national team. In 2013 he won the CONCACAF Gold Cup with the United States and was named CONCACAF Coach of the Year 2013. He led the United States team to the last 16 of the World Cup in Brazil in 2014. On 3 November 2016, he became the fourth male and sixth person to become the German national football team squad's honorary captain. On 21 November 2016, Klinsmann was fired as head coach of the United States men's national soccer team. After losses to Matu at the then second division side Stuttgarter Kickers, where he had been playing since 1978 as a youth player. In 1984, Klinsmann moved to first division rivals VfB Stuttgart. In his first season at the club, he scored 15 goals and was the team's joint top scorer with Karl Allgauer. Despite his goal scoring efforts, he couldn't prevent his new club from finishing 10th in the league. During each of the 1985, 86 and 1986, 87 seasons, he scored 16 goals and reached the 1986 final of the DFB Pokal, losing against Bayern Munich 2-5, but scoring the last goal of the game. In the 1987-88 season, he scored 19 goals in FIFA World Player of the Year award. In 2004 he was named in the FIFA 100 list of the 125 greatest living footballers. Klinsmann managed the German national team to a third-place finish in the 2006 World Cup. On 12 July 2006, he officially announced that he would step down as Germany's coach after two years in charge and be replaced by assistant coach Joachim Lowe. He took over as coach of Bundesliga club Bayern Munich in July 2008 when Otmar Hitzfeld stepped down. On 27 April 2009, he was released early, even though he had won five of the previous seven league games and was only three points behind league leader VfL Wolfsburg in the jointly initiated